San Francisco is very magical. I love this place. It's one of the greatest places in the world. There's an air about this city, and it's directly tied to our built environment. So protecting that built environment and keeping our city with that same feel, it's hugely important to keeping San Francisco the way it is. If you grow up here in California, you're certainly aware of earthquakes and the potential they have to really disrupt everyone's lives. We learned a lot of things after 1989 when we had the Loma Prieta earthquake. We knew that our minimum standards that the building codes require is not good enough for the city of San Francisco. It's not just about making a single structure stronger. It's about allowing the community to bounce back and bounce back better after a disaster. The resiliency of a city is based on its ability to recover quickly from a disaster. The ability to recover from a disaster is basically planning ahead of time so that the damage is limited. Our ordinance mandates the retrofit of buildings that were built before 1978. Our type five wood frame construction have five or more dwelling units and two or more stories over a soft story condition. A soft or a weak story building is a building where typically on the ground floor you'll find it has a lot of parking and so it, it has far more open areas of the wall than it actually has sheathed areas of the wall. There's just not much strength and above that you have a two or three, four story wood building. It's got lots of walls. And when the earthquake comes along, it very simply just moves across the bottom story where there's no strength. And the upper story just doesn't go with it. And so immediately you have this collapse potential. The city hired the Plague and Ecology Council to develop a program where we elegantly strengthened this floor in a manner that we don't drive earthquake forces up above and at the same time allow this floor to stretch out and yield and then easily repair it. It can be two different types of lateral system, plywood shear walls or steel frames. Those are your two choices. On a lot of these buildings where you have garage doors, you simply can't plywood in front of the garage doors. A classic moment frame requires people to weld and you really need to be careful when you're welding in a wood frame building that it doesn't catch on fire. We have buildings with too many openings and we can't put other types of structural components in there easily. So we started looking for a different way to address that solution. Historically, a special moment frame has not been a good fit for a wood building. The frame itself, when it goes through an earthquake event, has portions of it that stretch we call that yielding, and those portions become very soft. So we decided to try and solve that problem. How can we develop a product that would be a good fit in a wood building? We centered the Strong Frame Special Moment Frame around this replaceable fuse technology, these structural fuses that connect the beams to the columns. The things that end up stretching and getting soft and yielding are constrained by everything that does not in this frame. And that's one of the things that makes it such a, a, a perfect fit for the soft story retrofit problems in San Francisco. We've created this frame so that you can bring it into a building in pieces and it can be easily bolted together. There's no super special tools that are required. The way we created this was to make these connections simple enough that your basic carpenters and people who handle the wood side of things can also put these frames together and it's proving to work out really well. You can put the strong frame in around the openings connect the bottom of the frame to the foundations, connect the top of the frame to the floor above, and now you've actually added some strength and stability down there. You've maintained your opening, but the steel frame surrounds the opening and provides the strength necessary so that when the foundations move with the earthquake, so does the rest of the building. You've got three big advantages. One, the engineering, the testing, and the lack of welding. But for me, one of the other advantages is the cost. I couldn't afford to do a design and I couldn't do the testing. We have frames that we've tested in the laboratory that have gone through eight, nine, 10, 12 earthquakes on the same columns and beams and all we do is occasionally swap out the structural fuses in these things. They've done quality control that you can never replicate in the field. They've done engineering with some of the brightest engineers and then they've then tested that frame. 
San Franciscans, I think, really have a sense of place. We really understand what it feels like to walk down the street in our neighborhood. And after a major disaster, that's going to change. The architecture is going to change. These older buildings that we value in the city, we really value our historic resources, can be potentially gone. The practice of retrofitting buildings is not necessarily just the role of the architect, but a role in the community to create buildings that through change of ownership or vestige of being passed on to the next generation will stand the test of time. When we look at the policy development that's happening now, it's so encouraging. I'm seeing responsible policy that's unique and that hasn't been done this way anywhere else in the world.